So how does perception work? Most of us feel like perception is pretty effortless. You know, it feels like our eyes are these transparent windows through which we see the world effortlessly. You know, it feels like I'm up here and the world's out there and I just look and I see it. Now, René Descartes, the philosopher, he also felt this way and came up with a theory of perception based in this approach. Now, it starts with the idea that we are this self that we feel is inside our head. You know, if you had to say, where are you in your body? You probably feel like you're up here. And he thought that self is something that exists inside your head. And then when light comes into the eye and falls on the back of the retina, that the self just looks at those images and sees what's there. Now, if you think about this for a second, this can't work as a theory of perception. Because what you're trying to do is explain how seeing happens. And what you're doing with this explanation is you're just passing the buck to the self. You're saying the self has the capacity to see and you just pass it on to the self and then it does the seeing. Now, the main problem with this is what's called an infinite regress. So if you don't explain how the self can see, maybe you want to say there's just another self inside there that can see. And this just goes on and on and on, and you never actually answer the question of how seeing happens. It's kind of like saying God created the universe, but then asking who created God, and then it just has to be this infinite regress, and it never stops anywhere, and that, that can't work. So this idea that there's this self inside the head, that also turns out to just be not true. That's another reason this theory can't work. Now, that's kind of at the core of what I'll be talking about here, so we can't get into how that's the case right now, uh, but that's something to look forward to.